Let's talk Tanya for the 13th of other. The last two days we spoke about the joy that we can experience simply by tuning in to the unity of God and the understanding of just how near and how close God is to us. Today we're going to slightly shift focus. The same idea, but instead of talking about our joy, we're going to talk about God's joy. What does God take joy in? What makes God happy? Well, we mentioned there is this idea of Achtos Hashem, the unity of God. God is all-pervasive, He's omnipresent, He's everywhere, He's in everything. But we don't see that. Why don't we see that? That's the darkness of this world. And there's a purpose to the darkness of the world. And the purpose is that we should push away the darkness, that we should suppress the darkness. How do we do so? When I tune into that faith, when I tune into that reality of Achtos Hashem, the unity of Hashem, What I'm effectively doing is I am pushing away the darkness and within myself, I'm allowing the light of God to shine. That is the entire purpose of the creation of the world and the creation of darkness is that the darkness should be suppressed, pushed aside to allow the light to enter. When I do that, God is smiling. God has nachas, God is having tremendous joy. Why is that relevant to me? Because if I am in a real relationship with God, When he is happy and excited, I should be happy and excited about that also. You know you're in a real relationship. When you actually gain tremendous happiness and satisfaction, when you're looking at the other person in the relationship and seeing they are happy, and that makes you happy. So, I feel the nearness of God. That brings me joy. And that's what we spoke about the last two days. I feel joy in being close. But there is an additional element over here which is that when I focus on the fact that not only is this bringing me joy, but this is bringing God joy, that brings us a double measure of happiness. So to recap, when, we, when I identify with the soul, so far we talked about two different happinesses that, uh, that result. Number one, chapter 31, then I can take joy in doing a mitzvah. And then here in our chapter, chapter 33, which we are concluding today, we talk about the joy I can experience from feeling close to God. And then an additional element within that is that not only do I have joy from being close to God, but there's the joy that God experiences, and I can tap into that also. But what if I don't feel that joy? I don't feel that closeness, so I can't feel that joy. What then? Is there any way for me to experience that simcha, that happiness, if I can't feel that closeness? That we will talk about in tomorrow's Let's Talk Tanya.